out here on Brother, the college Sam, campus. What are you trying to teach us? We're trying to we teach our to people to come back to God and stop playing with God. That's right. That is what, what you you're stop? doing. What do you want to stop you're playing, playing with, with God right now. now. Because as we read, the Bible clearly says what we got to do. And you keep asking, what do I got to do? And God already said, we just read what you got to do. Why do we get to eat whatever we want to eat? Okay, yes. We can't have that out here. Okay, how to speak out? And out of the tent. On a what day? And do what with it? Keep it holy. When's the Sabbath day? Seventh day. What is Sunday? Is that the first day or the seventh day of the week? All right, so now, watch this, watch this. So Sunday is the first day of the week. The Sabbath day on what we were commanded to keep holy is on Saturday, which we are already in the midst of now because the sun went down. Watch, watch. I want you to repent and keep the commandments of God. If you haven't done so yet. You've been taught you have, but all pastors lie. You haven't done it yet. Watch, because remember, you go to church every Sunday. Give me Leviticus 23 and 3. Let's see what day are we supposed to go to church. So if everybody goes against what God said, that means they don't believe what God said. They chose to sin instead of do what he said. Let's see what day God said go to church. Read that. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 3. What's going on with my Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Uh -huh. In watch, 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 watch. Here we go. In holy convocation. What is the Sabbath day? In holy convocation. What shall we do on the Sabbath day? In holy convocation. The word holy convocation means a holy gathering. So what everybody think they do on Sunday, they are not. They are following Satan. God, now, man. what? What do you want us to do? To repent and what? do what God said. What is that? All praises. What did God say? What day we supposed to go to church? Read it again. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the seventh of rest uh -huh. and holy convocation. Hey, hey, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He need to get a part of Now, look, listen, listen. Watch this. Because you said, what is it that we want our people to do? We want them to repent. Watch. Let's see if God told us. Does God give us instruction on how to get to heaven? Or do we get to figure it out on our own? And just do what we want to do and go just because we say so. So do he give us commandments to do to get to heaven? Or do you get to make them up? Or did God already tell us what to do? Because that is what we want our people to do. Get to heaven. If our people don't do what God said, they are going to burn her. They are not going to get the kingdom of heaven. I'm, I'm worshiping God. What do you want me to do different other than go to church? What do you want me to do? Here we go. I'm about to go. Okay. okay. You go to, what do you want me to do? Watch. You go to church on the wrong day. Stop. What day you want me to go? Saturday. 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 Thank you. I'll read now, on Saturday. Saturday, stop cooking because you cannot cook on Saturday. Stop buying and shopping and selling stuff because you can't shop on Saturday. Stop working on Saturday because you can't work on Saturday. Stop committing fornication if you are. I'm not saying you are, but a lot of our people out here is. Stop doing so. That is how you get to the kingdom of heaven. For our women to stop acting like men. For our men to stop acting like women. That is what we want our people to do because that's what God said he wanted them to do. Right. That's the only way you get into the kingdom of heaven. You're not going to get there your way. You got to do it God's way. And if you don't do it God's way, you can't go. So you learned Sunday worship right here. It was beaten into you. What people from Africa? No, 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 no. This ain't just people from Africa. <laughs> this ain't just people from Africa. All praises to the Mosai. You say you're a Native American? All praises. Here you are. You was learned that. It was beaten into you. Right. The same Sunday worship that was beaten into those that was actually brought on the slave ship versus those that was already here. Why do you think they had Hebrew speaking black people on the slave ship? Because the Indians spoke Hebrew. Right. White people don't speak Hebrew. Right. 
We did. That was your original language. Right. So they beat it out of you. Now you learn English, and they gave you a different last name, and you go to church on Sunday now. Right. What, what do you want me to do? Not, not, not go to church on Sunday? I was like, what do you church want me to do before I leave? Before Man, you leave. What do you want me to do? All praises to the Most High. All this is what we want. High. Give me Acts 3.18. What this is what we want you to do. This is what we want you to do. Okay. Is that, that what I want? 19. 19. Yes, absolutely. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore. What did the Bible say? Repent ye therefore. That's what we want you to do. That is a process. That ain't something you're going to do overnight either. That's the process because you don't know the laws of God yet. So you got to learn them. So the Bible says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Be what? Converted. Meaning you're not going to be the same you always used to be. Right. Everybody will see the difference. If you go to church on Sunday and you say you follow God and God say go on Saturday, that would mean everybody will see you are totally different and convert and do what God said. Now, that's what that's what that term that when it say, uh, what did it say? That let your light shine. Everybody saying this on this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. We are supposed to be the light. People are supposed to see that we different, but we light, act like everybody else on the planet. Yeah, what the light being on Sunday? All praises, because that's what everybody else do. They go against God, so it ain't no light. You in darkness. Right. Bring it out. What do you want me to do? Come over and repent once again. Read it again. I like the scripture. Repent ye therefore and be converted, uh -huh. that your sins. May be blotted out. Because until you convert, your sins will not be blotted out. Right. So I got a question for you. I have a question for you. Because I see that you have, you, you're Greek. You pledged before. All right. Why? Why? Why did you pledge Greek? Yes. Okay, why? That's what I'm saying. I get it, but why did you pick them? And I ain't just, and I'm talking about any, because I know it's a particular one, yes, but why did you play Greek, period? Why did you play Greek, period? Well, I Greek. Yes. Well, that was the brotherhood I decided to join once I joined the campus. Okay, so now. Now you see how because in your in your I went hold on hold on hold on don't, right. don't, don't make this a despair that, it's I, not. that I didn't go to church before. No, I'm not saying that. That's not where I'm going. What I'm asking. Yes, why did you play? Well, don't worry about Greek. I've been I've been I've been going to church before. I was Greek, so I'm saying, what are okay. you trying to prove about Greekness? No, because I'm asking the question. Greekness is just an organization. Okay, it's an organization well, that does what? Greekness, this, this organization was founded in 1911. Y'all talking yeah. about something that was found way before. Way before that. So, so what do we, I mean, so this ain't got so, nothing to do with so that. So watch, so that would mean that our people are not originally This is an organization of people. I get it. This is an organization of y'all. So now, why, so my question is, why do our people pledge manly things and not God's? Bring it out. Why do us as a people pledge man things, meaning man made up, instead of God's ways? Why do we do what men say and won't do what God said? Bring it out. Because our people, like you said, we choose brotherhoods. We choose these different things to go into to prove what? That we meant. But you can't say the same people ain't prove the same thing as you was going along the, part, the same process. <laughs> You ain't listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying, what do you What mean? I said is, why do we follow manly ways? Why do we want to be a part of manly things? Not just priests. Why do we go to a concert where a woman is going to sing about sleeping around and committing adultery? Why do we think that's cool? See? Why do our grown people that are double our age, why the heck they out here on Brother, the college saying, what are you trying to teach us? We're trying to we teach our that. people to come back to God and stop playing with God. That's right. That is what, what you you're stop? doing. What do you want you're playing, playing with God right wow. now. Because as we read, the Bible clearly says what we got to do. And you keep asking, what do I got to do? And God already said, we just read what you got to do. So the fact that you're acting like you don't understand, I know you do. Because in all, you had to remember we'll four founding down. forefathers we'll to be down. able to do we'll that. Take, we'll take no, down. we are on the form. We're teaching the Bible. You had to remember four. We only had to remember three out of the Bible. Right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What? Why we don't know them, but we know men. But we don't know our forefathers. 
But then whenever people ask or answer questions, we act like we don't understand when I know you do. I know you do. That is why I say you play with God just like everybody out here do. They play with God. They say they love God and don't do what he say. The only way you can give God flowers. Let's get that, First John. The only way you can prove you love God is do what he said. That is what we want you to do. Do what God said. It, I know you're not keeping the commandments. I know that for a fact. Yes. Name one I'm breaking. As today, I don't Name. know what one am I breaking. You go to church on Sunday. You just broke the Sabbath day. And if you break, watch, watch, watch. You asked. We keep the Sabbath day. You break the Sabbath day and you go to church on Sunday. If you go to church on Sunday, you break all the commandments. Let's read the scripture. How do we love God? First John chapter 5 verse 3. I'm from Jerusalem. That is where we from. Read. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Our people won't listen. This is the love of God. Go ahead. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep. His commandments. We have to keep the commandments of God. Brother, right. before you went to this, yeah. before, what did you go to church with? Which it was Christianity. Okay, so what? I'm saying, what, what am I doing wrong? And when I heard this, what, I stopped. What difference do you want? When I heard it, I stopped immediately. I stopped going on Sunday immediately. All praises. You got a flyer? Look on the back. You see the address right there in the black ball? Look right there on the so back. What's wrong with the Look on them. They all in sin. Every last one of them. That's what's wrong with them. Yes, my grandmama was in sin before she died. Yes. She did not keep the commandment of God. She did not keep the Sabbath day. Neither does my mother. My mother go to church on Sunday right now. And I told her too, she's in sin. Yes. And all Christian pastors know it. That's why you ask them. What day are we supposed to go? Why do they say Saturday, but they say, I won't tell the congregation because they want your money. Just like our people give tithes and offering, not understanding that it was never money. Read that, how do we love God again? For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. So we love God by keeping his commandments. Go ahead. And his commandments are not grievous. The commandments of God are not grievous hard to do. Right. We make them hard because we are evil. Yes, sir. The dietary laws, all praises, Leviticus. We cannot eat pork. We just had an older, older people walk by asking about the shrimp and fish. We can't eat shrimp. Shrimp is big fat water roaches. And I want people to eat them as a delicacy. Mind you, don't we lead in all the unhealthy sicknesses? Because we eat bad food. About the, uh, like the uh, animals that chew the cud. They chew the cud. It say you can eat those. So what about, what are those? I, I was like a cow. Yeah. Okay. That like like or a deer or chicken. something like that. Like chicken. Chicken. They don't eat the cud. They don't. They don't have the double stomach. What about ducks? No ducks. You cannot eat. It tells you what you can eat. Watch, because you can't eat things with webbed feet. Yeah. Watch this. Let's read that in verse. I want the yeah. Read verse eight first. We want that, then we're going to read what's in the water for the fish at 11, I believe. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hood. Because everybody going to be out here cooking swine tomorrow. It's going to be pig everywhere. All the ribs, all that pork going to be everywhere tomorrow. God just said it's unclean. Go ahead. And be cloven for it. Yet, he chew up not the cut. He don't got the two stomachs to clean his food. They are literally on the earth to clean the earth of all filth. They eat any and everything. That's why they say you are what you eat. Our people are what they eat. All the diseases the pig got is in our people. High blood pressure, heart disease, gout, all of those things we lead in them because we eat all of the evil, all of the unclean food. Go ahead. He is unclean to you. The swine, which is the pig, is unclean. Read on. Of the flesh, he shall not eat. Because we ain't supposed to eat that. Verse, verse 9. You good? Yep. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So now it's going to tell you what kind of food we can eat out of the ocean or the lake or whatever the river. Go ahead. Whatsoever has fins and scales. Does catfish have scales? <laughs> Does, does crab have scales and fins? Does lobster have scales? Does, uh, what is it, oysters? Uh, what is, what is it, what's the other little joints? 
scallops, mussels. They don't, all of those are, we, they, people buy those to put in fish tanks to clean the tank. We eat all the filth and then, ex and then walk around and spend thousands of dollars on the food and say we ate a good meal when all we did was eat them. Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So we can't eat the catfish or the shrimp that the old couple walk by asking to go over here and eat early. Can you tell us where the fish and shrimp is? You ain't even supposed to be eating shrimp. That's unclean to you. It is killing you. That's why our men, when they in their 50s, they walk around like this, and their bodies are jacked up because they've been eating the wrong food all their life. Now they got to eat, take all these pills all their life. Why you got so-called white men running around running laps. In your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, they in perfect shape. Our men can't even get off the couch because they eat the wrong food. Now they got to go. Now you got to pay another thousand or something dollars to go see the doctor. Then you got to pay thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for the medication they're going to give you that's going to make it worse. It's just going to put a Band-Aid over, but it's not going to fix you. And then you at 62 and you're in a hospital bed on life support. Now your family trying to decide on whether or not to pull the plug or not. All because we are not responsible for what we eat. But all our people say we love our people, we love our kids, but we don't want to be around to see our kids. We would rather be dead. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm going to die of something. Well, why not die when you 80-something instead of 60? You can't even see your grandkids enough because you're in a hospital. But we love our people, though. When we can't even love ourselves, let us know we do not love our people. Go ahead, read on down some more. Verse 10. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. That is an abomination. Give me Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Because what people will say in the New Testament that's done away with, we're going to prove it that it is not. Let's read that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. We're in the New Testament now. Let's see what Christ said about the old laws. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So Christ himself said, do not think that he came to destroy the laws of God. Hello. That is not what he came to do. What? Go ahead. Or the prophets. Or what the prophets said. So everything that was before Christ is still in place today. Go ahead. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And then you know what happened in church? They closed the book. Why don't they read on down? Let's read the very next verse. Go ahead. For verily I say unto you. He said, surely. Christ will say unto us, go ahead. Till heaven and earth pass. I mean, you still on the earth? Is the heaven still up there? So heaven and earth ain't passing. So it said, until then, go ahead. One shot or one two. The smallest punctuation. Go ahead. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Shall no wise what? Pass from the law. So if we are, if all of the laws are still in place, why do we get to eat? Whatever we want to eat. Exactly. Yes. We can't have that out here. Okay, how to speak out? So now, go ahead, read it again. Hold that for me. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. That is the Bible talking. Yeah. That's Christ. That's written in red. Yeah. Why don't our people follow what Christ said today? When Christ just said everything in the Old Testament is still in place today. So the fact that we go to church on Sunday, that's wrong. The fact we eat all abominational food, that's wrong. Divorce is wrong. That's right. Mind you, literally, all this school is probably over 10 to 1 black male to the women. Ten women to one man. Yeah. Out of all them ten women, one out of four will get married in their life. Wake them up. Because they don't keep the commandments in their life. Right. It used to be 80% just 50 years ago. You think that's by design? Or no, 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 no. That is because we, we have become these in our brains. We are the biggest slaves on the planet. Right. Watch this. We, we had some young men over here earlier. I'm going to ask you the same question. 
if you had a girlfriend, right? Yeah. For one, you ain't supposed to have one. But would you want to marry your sister that would show her body to every other man? So ain't that what we see all night tonight? So why do they think they're going to get married like that? Bring it out! One out of four in their life will get married. Not stay married, get married. But our people don't understand that that is the Bible. Go ahead, read down some more. Till all be fulfilled. Until everything is fulfilled. You understand? Yeah. Now he now he asked that 50 million times. I want to 58 and 1. We're about to slide yes. but I just want to Absolutely. So now you understand that? Yeah. All right, you understand the laws are still in place today then? Yeah. The only thing we don't do is the law of sacrifice because we don't have the temple anymore. Christ is the sacrifice. But he did not say stop everything else. That's why in Hebrews 10, it says stop sacrificing. Mm -hmm. Meaning giving animals for your sins. Yeah, yeah. Just stop sinning. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Oh!